Yes, so what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video. Real quick, man, if you like the video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up and, and subscribe for more daily 2K content, tips, tricks, all that good stuff, man. And if you guys want a video on how to determine what is an open shot and what's a, what's a covered shot and what's a crowded shot and all that, so you know, um, because I know a lot of people look at my shots and they're like, yo, you take a lot of contested shots. And I'm like, the shot ain't contested. The ball was gone when he got there. So, you know, um, y'all y'all let me know. I'm shooting right now on Hall of Fame, man. And um, as you can see, I've made, what, 52, 40, 42 or 52 shots. And uh, I'm just, I'm just, I was uh, done the video over, but, you know, I had, I had stuff in the background going, so I ended up having to do it again. But uh, that's not important. What is important is what you guys came here for. And that's the three secrets to shooting that nobody wants to tell you. Number one should be the one thing that uh, everybody should know. Practice, 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 practice. You can't be good at something if you haven't practiced it, right? So that's number one. Practice, practice, practice. Number two, it's not the jump shot. It's the timing. Again, I'm going to say it again for you because a lot of people don't understand what I'm saying. It's not the jump shot, it's the timing. Obviously, your, your hot spots. Offensive consistency, consistency don't mean shit in this game. Hot spots do help because if I had my hot spots, I would, it would damn near be touching um, my stamina bar. But offensive consistency means nothing in this game. I don't have any hot spots. I don't have any offensive consistency. consistency. I still shoot over. Uh, let me see what I'm shooting. I still shoot. 64% uh, from the field, 59% from um, from deep. So, you know, that's that. And as you guys can see, we're on Hall of Fame. So, um, so none of that really matters unless unless it does matter. Uh, you might need, like with my, with my, with my uh, other guy, with my lockdown defender, I need my hot spots because it makes my short range shot like this. And, um, and I think it gives you a little bit more on your shot rate. And I don't know how it affects it, but it does affect it. So that's one thing. Another thing, it's not the jump shot, it's the, it's, it's the timing is what I was trying to get into. Meaning that instead of trying to look at a jump shot that someone else uses and trying to get it, get it to where you, you are feeling the timing of that jump shot, you should be creating jump shots that, that are tailored to the way that you want to shoot the ball. You get a timing that you're used to, and then you just make a jump shot that coincides with a timing that you're that you're feeling, that you're good at. I like Paul George. I learned the timing on Paul George um, this year. They've changed it like six or seven times, and you know people going away from it. But I just I just keep adjusting to the timing. I'm doing exactly what I'm telling you guys not to. I know that they have changed it, but I don't really. The thing that I look at is, I look at my guy's hand. I don't I don't look at I don't look at the uh, bar. So while, while the timing for the bar and the hand, um, the timing for the bar and the hand are the same, when they change the shot, the bar timing will be different, but the hand, the hand timing is always gonna be, when I see him do his hand back, that's when I gotta let it go. Now, he may do it faster or slower, depending on what, what type of shots you're taking or if, if 2K messes with it. But you don't have to worry about that because as long as you're concentrating on his hand, you're good to go. So now that we got that out of the way, it's not the jump shot, it's the timing. Find a jump shot that you are familiar with the timing or you're liking the timing on or even create one like that. But it's not the jump shot, dog. Like, like you might try to use Paul George and somebody was like, it's trash. And I'm like, dog, I use Paul George the whole time. I shoot over 60% from the field and almost 60% from three. It can't be trash. Like, if you... If you don't like it, that's one thing, but but the jump shot ain't trash. It's just it's your timing with it may be trash, but or you just not you can't get used to the timing. It's like Aldridge last year. I couldn't get used to the timing on Aldridge at all. I never could until the end of the game. And I just went in there and practiced that bitch for like three hours and then I got used to it. So that's number two. It's not the jump shot, it's the timing. Fine. You should be looking for people's timing. You should be looking at timing, not just what jump shot do they have because that's not gonna help you. It's just gonna, because if you, let's say if I got this jump shot always uh, and, and you're stuck on this, the timing right here, it ain't gonna help you because you're gonna, you, you're gonna be reluctant to change. So that's that. Uh, number three, your jump shot rating, your shot rating for, for specific shots affects your timing. Like, I don't know if you can see it, 
right here, look. Look at me taking the shot. That shot is a little bit slower, right, than when I take this shot. And I'm gonna tell you why. Look, when I pull up from three, it's a little bit faster, right? When I pull up from two, it's a little bit, it's a little bit slower. And I'm gonna tell you why. Your shot rating directly affects, uh, directly affects your, um, your shot rating directly affects the timing of the shot. So if you have a low shot rating, it's going to be a slower shot. If you have a high shot rating, then it's going to be it's going to be a little bit quicker. And uh, you know that because when you get hot, you start missing shots. When you get your grand badge, you start missing shots. And and that's how it is when people are like, yo, I missed. I got my grand badge. It's because they've added like five to your shot rating, and it's it's significantly different. That's just all. That's just all there is to it. So check it out. My shot close rating right is 77. So here we go, shot close. Look at look at this. Look at this. Okay, he dunked it, you dumbass. Anyway, right here, shot close. Stop dunking the damn ball, man! Okay, maybe they called this shot close. Okay, you see that? That was that was kind of slow. I can break it down on another video if y'all want me to. But that is slower than this, right? And then both of those are slower than this shot that I'm gonna take right here, which is a three. My, my three point rating is like a 91. You see how that's faster than anything? So that's why I used to have my shot rating is a 85 on both. Or if you got different shot ratings, um, then you, you know, if you got different shot ratings, it's going to be different. So my shot close, like I said, shot close is green, but it's a little bit slower. And I'm just looking at the hand, but I can just tell. All I'm doing is looking at his hand, but I can tell um, what it's gonna be. Okay, here we go. That's a little bit slower. Maybe I need to go uh, break it down in the frames or something. I might do that if y'all want me to do do some dumb shit like that, some overkill ass shit. But I'm hoping that y'all can see that that is faster the uh, the further I step out. And 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 further proof of that is why when you're moving your moving shot, the timing is different. Because your moving shot rating, my moving shot rating is only 77, right? So it's a little bit different when I'm moving. You see how slow that is? That's why it's slower when you're moving than uh than when you're standing still. Because when you're moving, you you it's going to your 77 shot rating. When you're when you're standing still, it's on your 85 or your 91 shot rating. So that's that's the reason for that. That's the proof. That's the proof of it. Why? It's not because you got a different. Um, now you can you can have some different pull-ups that make it feel just as fast or whatever. But it really just goes by your shot rating. That's all it is. So that's why when you when you're shooting and you're moving, you're like, damn, that took a long ass time. That's what it is. It's your shot. Your shot rating uh, directly affects that. So number one, the tips: practice, 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 practice. Number two, it's not the time. It's not the shot itself. It's the timing. Get used to a timing and then find the shot that coincides with the timing uh, that you already have for yourself. Or or just adjust the timing. If you like a particular shot, just adjust the timing. And then number three, your shot, your shot rating directly affects the speed of the shot. And like I said, that's how you know, um, like the higher your shot rating is, the quicker the release is going to be. That's why when you're shooting with, with your grand badge on, um, you shoot with your grand badge on. That's, that's exactly why you miss some because you have to let it go a little bit earlier. When you're shooting, when you're getting, when you're heating up or whatever, uh, you have to shoot it a little bit earlier. And that's why when you're shooting the moving shot, you gotta hold it. Unless you, unless I mean, some people have have gotten moving shots like that Elite 11. I think that is probably the closest one that's gonna make it be like. Um, Make it be like your ordinary shot rating. I mean, your ordinary shot timing. But that's that's why you know you you want to find things because that's a timing thing. You want to make the timing be the same for all shots. So if you can find a pull up that does that, then that's what you want to do. But like I said, you should have to hold it just a little bit longer when I'm when. That's why people like got dragged. It, it's not that you dragged. It's just because it's a moving shot, so the timing is going to be different. Anyway, I hope all this made sense, man. And um, if you guys want me to do some other stuff, I want to do a video. Um, let's shoot for 300 likes on this video if we can, man. I want to do a video on how to know what type of shots you should take or if you're open or not. 
And um, we can try to do that. I mean, I want to do that, but I don't know if you guys are interested in it at all. But if you are, let me know down in the comments. And what other tips do you guys want to know? Because, like, I'm not good at the game, but these are the things, the secrets that I know that help me look like I'm good at the game. You understand what I'm saying? Like, this is a huge, this is huge. A lot of people don't, I, I guarantee that most people don't know that your shot rating, look at how fast that is compared to the shot that I just took. That your shot rating is directly tied to the speed of the shot. I guarantee people don't know that shit. And I, like I said, that's why when you're getting off, oh yeah, 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 the reason that that is important is this, I'm gonna stop dribbling. Number one, if you're still building your my player and you keep moving your shot up, that's why it seems like your shot is broken because you keep adding to the shot and you haven't gotten used to the new timing. So if you're still building your my player, it may be smart to go ahead and max it out to like 85 or something in the middle and then go from there. But max your defense out before you go to the park. And then number two is why you miss when you get your grand bands and you miss when, you, when people boost, when people are saying like, yo, when I boost, my shot gets broke. That's why, because it changed the shot timing on your shot. Anyway, I ain't got too much time, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it makes sense to you. And uh, like I said, it ain't a jump shot, it's the timing. So when you're looking for a jump shot, don't just look for a jump shot that is good. Look for a jump shot or that everybody else is using. Look for a jump shot that has timing that you're comfortable with. Try to keep your shot rating the same. And the easiest way to keep it consistent, consistent is make your close you're close and uh, your three pointer as close as you can get them. If you're a sharpshooter, you're only gonna have 77 shot close, but you're not gonna take many close shots. And um, you know, and uh, your moving shot is gonna be trash anyway. But just get used to that timing. Get used to all those timings, and then try to do that. And number three, your shot and book and because of number three, which is your shot timing is directly tied to your shot rating. So the lower the shot rating, the slower the shot is. The higher the shot rating the faster the shot is. That's why my lockdown defender shoots a little bit slower, but I only look at when he when he turns his hand over to shoot it. I don't look at the uh, meter. That's, that's why most times I turn the meter off. I just have the meter on for confirmation, but I don't look at that shit at all. But anyway, man, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this helps somebody out. I'm sure nobody else knew that. I have not seen anybody else in the community tell you that, uh, that you know you can have the same shot. We can have the exact same, and that's why my shot might be wet for me, but it might not be for you. We can have the exact same shot, but if our shot ratings are different, we're going to have different timing. So, you know, you have to make sure everything is the same. Anyway, I'm not ready to talk too long. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'm out of here. Till next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! 360 out this mode.